today for working in the garden. And you can see we've got some bamboo here that we have planted to make a natural fence here. You can also see that we've planted some cannas here, and the cannas uh, have got these worms in them. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do today is clear out the worms from the cannas. When we do that, we want to have a bag. So you'll see I'll bring a bag, and then we're going to put those directly in the bag so that the worms don't get back onto the plant. One of the best ways to naturally reduce pests is to just remove them. So there's going to be some pest removal here. And then you can see, hi Luna. But we're going to keep the puppies out of the mess. But you can see here where the bamboo is growing up against the gazebo. So if bamboo is just left to do its own thing, it's just going to grow in every direction you're going to want to cut the bamboo back. And so you'll see when I come in to cut it back, um, how we do that. We're going to start by cutting some off at the ground. We're going to cut off somewhere. We're just cutting the leaves. And then we're going to cut down to the root because those roots are trying to grow under the gazebo. And that's what we don't want. If they grow underneath there, that's going to cause problems. So we're going to go in there. We're going to cut those roots off um, and pull those out. So let's start with our tools as usual. I've had back surgery, so I'm wearing my support here. You want some good leather gloves that are gonna be very durable, especially when you're working with bamboo, because these leaves are super sharp. Also, I like to wear the long sleeve shirt and the long pants, especially with the bamboo. If you've ever had a paper cut, then you know what bamboo cut feels like. It's the same, it feels like the kneeling pad. Um, and this is a kneeling pad that we've ordered online. It's about an inch thick. Um, and this is really a, a good piece of equipment. Basic cardboard box. And you might be thinking, oh, why the cardboard box? But the cardboard box is going to give you more of an area to work from than the kneeling pad. So I like to put the box down. And then this is kind of where we're going to be working from. And then remembering to squat anytime that we get low. And then we're going to use our, our kneeling pad there. Of course, we're going to be digging. So we're going to need to use our shovel. We're gonna to need to use some, I think these are called loppers, basic hand trowel. Sometimes when you're trying to knock the dirt off from, I didn't see where you guys were. You need to stay in sight, please. Thank you. All right, so, sorry about that. We were talking about the trowel. Um, and so the trowel is good for knocking dirt away from the roots of things. And then sometimes those roots can be pretty difficult. So we've got a hatchet. Um, we might need that to knock the roots. We're gonna get started here clearing up the cannas. And then we're gonna start into the bamboo. So enjoy the hyperlapse. <laughs> So here we are now, we've got the bamboo cleared back away from the gazebo, just about, and we can walk now. <laughs> and that's really the first step, is cutting it off at the ground and clearing it back, and then we're going to get in here with the shovel and start digging up some of the roots 
so that we can keep it in a straight line because otherwise again the bamboo it wants to just grow in every direction so we're just guiding the growth so we can turn it into a fence and you can see here the cannas they had quite a lot of worms so they took uh, quite a bit of trimming but they'll pop back next we're going to get our shovel and we're going to start finding here where the roots are from where we cut it off at the ground and then we're going to take our other tools that we looked at at the beginning and we're going to take up some of this root in here uh, while the sun's going down. Thank you for watching the Party Sorts version, and remember, get adjusted, because it feels good. <laughs>